Hi, this is Paul Haar from the saxophonist.org, and I'm here with a playtest and review of the Contemporary Crossover 1, Contemporary Crossover 2, and the Contemporary Rollover Baritone Mouthpieces from Aaron Drake. <clears throat> Here's an example of the various Drake mouthpieces. This is the Contemporary 1. This is the highest baffle mouthpiece designed for heavy funk work. <laughs> Here's an example of the Contemporary 2. Uh, the same type of uh, baffle, much more brilliant um, for contemporary work, but a little bit lower. <laughs> Now here's the contemporary rollover. This one is a little bit more <clears throat> cross-platform type of mouthpiece. It is designed uh, with more of a rollover baffle. <laughs> You know, I have been impressed with just about everything I've tried from Aaron Drake. He is another one of those names, along with Ted Klum, Jody Espina, and, and many others, that you just know you're going to get a great mouthpiece. The question is, you just have to find the right mouthpiece for you. Now, as kind of a weekend warrior type baritone saxophonist, I'm looking for something that's going to provide me with a variety of options. So I might be playing with an old 1930s big band in a three-piece saxophone or four-piece saxophone section one second. I might be playing in a big band, a full 20-piece big band the next. I might be playing in a tower of power section or with a funk band, so I'm going to need some flexibility. Here's what I will tell you. Uh, in order of brightness to um, uh, what I would call accessibility for this player, the contemporary uh, crossover one is a Black & Decker mouthpiece. This mouthpiece is designed to cut. It is a tower power bark, like a dog type mouthpiece. It has got a lot of edge and power to it. I found myself, if I even tried to open the throat or try to feather out the sound at all, that it would bark on me. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is a mouthpiece that if you do a lot of heavy, this is a mouth. <clears throat> the Contemporary Crossover 1 mouthpiece is a mouthpiece that is designed for funk work. It is designed for rock work. It is a barky Black & Decker mouthpiece. So I, I really enjoyed it, but for me it was like taking out um, a super high-powered uh, sports car. It wasn't very practical to taking your kids to the YMCA. Um, for the type of weekend warrior type uh, baritone playing I do where I'll be in a little 13 piece Mickey band one minute and then maybe a big band, full piece 20 big band, um, 20 piece big band the next, and then maybe a, 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 a funk horn section, it just wasn't conducive for, to all that. 
Uh, in fact, if I played this mouthpiece, it got a lot of edge. It is a meet it, it is response. But if I change the throat position, in fact, my voicing position was really more like I was playing a rock alto or rock tenor. If I tried to open and feather the sound, you could tell it was not going to have that. <laughs> Almost sounded like a civil defense siren. So really, this is a mouthpiece that is designed for what I call black and decker baritone work. Now, the contemporary crossover two was a lot, um, for me, more forgiving. It still gave me that punch and edge, but gave, gave me a lot more control, especially down in the low spatula keys. Uh, this would be a great mouthpiece if you had to do <clears throat> um, some crossover funk work and some jazz work, I think it'd be fine. For me, the contemporary uh, rollover was the most enjoyable of the mouthpieces, and for me, might have been one of the most enjoyable of all the baritone saxophone mouthpieces that I play tested. It gave me a lot of rich warmth in the mid and low register, <clears throat> gave me the accessibility to be able to play some funk lines um, if I needed to in, in, a, in a funk band. Uh, really a pleasure. Again, all these mouthpieces are made uh, out of Aaron's um, formula of a composite uh, mixed uh, with um, uh, rubber. Uh, they come banded at the bottom and um, also have resin compression ligatures uh, that go on this. Uh, like a lot of Drake mouthpieces, typical baritone saxophone ligatures are not going to fit uh, this mouthpiece, just like some of the tenor mouthpieces use alto ligatures. I didn't get a chance to truly, really get an idea of what ligatures would fit because we're in the midst of the COVID epidemic and they shut down my university where all my ligature stash is. So uh, I'll see if I can try to add that later, uh, hopefully once all this is over. The price for these mouthpieces are, are right around $390, so you'll probably be looking at $400 with shipping unless uh, free shipping is offered. I didn't look and see, but they list on site as $390. So of the mouthpieces that we were looking at, uh, really kind of on the lower end, more affordable mouthpieces. Here's what I can say. You can trust that with Aaron's mouthpieces they're going to be consistent, they're going to play great. It's just really a case of finding out which one's for you. So if you're <clears throat> a person who's really into uh, heavy rock and funk work and you need power to be able to uh, try to match against electronic instruments, then the Contemporary Crossover 1 or the Contemporary Crossover 2 is going to be what you're going to be wanting. <clears throat> if you want a little bit more jazz accessibility, maybe then the, the contemporary rollover is going to be what you like. But you cannot go wrong with any of these. And so you want to make sure that if you're a serious baritone player, or even a weekend warrior like me who might need something that's going to be consistent, flexible, and suit my needs, be sure to check out the Drake mouthpieces. They're excellent mouthpieces and something that you can trust. For reviews like this, educational features, great interviews with, uh, say, like a lot of baritone saxophone players, be sure to go to www.thesaxophonist.org. Thank you.